see what God is doing as we open up his word. Get excited every week from what you heard. There's a purpose on your life, you know you need it. The son of man is coming back, better believe it. So get ready for the sermon hype. Sermon hype. Sermon hype. So get ready for the sermon hype. Sermon hype. Sermon hype. Get ready, get ready. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our Sermon Height video this week. Um, we are coming out of our Hasty Faith sermon from Sunday, and we are going into a sermon called FOMO Faith. And so before we jump into that and we give you guys kind of like our prequel for that sermon, we want to talk about Hasty Faith. So... Um, the number one question that we got from people that took notes that were there that listened online and in person, one of the things that you said was, wait for God to put his stamp on it. And the question was, how do you know that God put his stamp on it? Well, and, this, and that's a major question for most people because we don't ever really know exactly, hey, did God do this? But I can tell you this, that God puts his stamps on things that aren't selfish, if the reason that you're doing something or the reason that you're moving forward is for you, if the main focus is not for God, then he probably didn't put a stamp on it. If it's for God or for others, if you notice that everything in the Bible that this stamp was put on, it was for God's purpose. Um, but that's not to say that God won't speak to you too. That, you know, in many times in the Bible, and we don't hear about this very much and I think maybe because our communication with God isn't the way it was in the Old Testament. But um, God will talk to you, and he will show you. You know when the right things to do. Uh, here's one of the things that I know that God puts his stamp on. You think God puts his stamp on you encouraging somebody else? Oh, yeah. Sure. You think God puts his stamp on opening the door for somebody that they're having a bad day? It, the little things we can recognize, God, it's the big things that we're scared of. And then sometimes we're not scared, we just don't know any better, so we jump in and we're hasty about it. Yeah, oh yeah. But just like we talked last week, you know, um, most of the time when we're too hasty, it's because the devil presses us when we're in a tight spot. Yes. Which is good, and I think too something you said that's like a very um, obvious answer to this question. But ask them; it's okay to ask them. Sure, you know? like that's one of the most obvious things that we look over, waiting for like a big sign and miracle. But you know, prayer is one of the greatest tools I think we were ever given to find out. You oh, know, for sure, what God has put a stamp on. So, ask them. Well, and you know, that's funny too, because a lot of times when I've tried to make decisions that I thought that I really needed God's stamp on it. Yeah. Um, one of the scariest parts about the prayers that I have in those times is, God, if you don't want this to happen, put an obstacle there. Mm. Don't let it happen. And then, guess, <laughs> but you got to be careful what you ask for. Yeah. Because then it, that takes the selfishness out of it, though. Because if it was about you in the first place, it kind of brings it to the top. Ruins it for you. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Yeah. But God, I know you wanted this for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No, that's good. That's yeah. good. So I, I think if we recognize God's hand in it prior to, you know, we know most of the time, like I said, the little simple things, we know that God puts his stamp on every day. Right. Um, also, you know, we react. Just like if you were to go home and you were to fuss at, at Bryce, right? <laughs> Bryce, is, Bryce has a choice to make. And what do you think God puts his stamp on? It ain't going to be to yell back at you. Right. You know what I mean? But we still, we know that. Yeah. And we still don't do that. Right. We hastily are in a tight spot and are pressured. And so our, we just <laughs> we let it out. Yeah. And, and that's what the devil uses. Yeah. You know, that's how he pushes us into making decisions, like this is going to be better for me if I just yell at somebody. It's going to be better for me if I take advantage of somebody. It's going to be better for me. It's going to help me to move forward. It's going to help me to get my stuff together if I just go ahead and do it. Right. Then I'll ask God's blessing in a little bit. Yeah. You know, I think we all, we all do that oh, with yeah. the little things in life. We always think about the big things. But we think, but it's all, it's even about the little things because that's where, that's where we practice and get our habits from so that when the big things do come up, 
what are we going to do? Yeah, whole picture approach. I like it. Yeah. Well, good. Um, if you guys have any more questions, comment down below what you want to see or what you want to hear. And I hope that was helpful to you guys. Um, let us know what we could be praying about as well for you guys. You can drop those in the comments too. Um, all right, so moving on to part two of this video is FOMO faith. So let's talk about what we're going to talk about now this Sunday. Sure. Um, first off, and I brought this in here today so I could actually tell you that um, FOMO. I had no clue what FOMO was. Oh, no. So looked it up. It, there is a definition. It comes from the Urban Dictionary, <laughs> right? The, the greatest place that you can find. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it, the the actual definition is the omnipresent anxiety brought on by our cognitive ability to recognize potential opportunities, which means fear of missing out. Yes. <laughs> FOMO. <laughs> but, um, but it's not on its own in the fear of missing out. Right? There's a lot of FOMO in our hasty faith. And, and we're kind of back with Saul and his you know, him doing the sacrifice by himself um, and why he did that. A lot of that was out of the fear of missing out on something that he was supposed to get. Right. Not listening to the command that God had given him. But through that, we find some other things. We find the fear of meeting opposition. Mm. We, we find that... Um, we don't, we forget orders and, you know, we forget orders and we make options. FOMA, right? right. Um, those kind of, that's what we're going to talk about Sunday is real FOMA. It's not going to be just fear of missing out. There's like four FOMOs. Okay. And um, I've got some notes here. Let me, let me look right here. We got the fear of. Uh, meeting opposition, we forget orders, and we make options, and then, oh, the biggest one, feelings over my obedience. Ooh, mm. I like Because a lot of times we make decisions because of our feelings. Oh, yeah. Even sure. though we've been told we know how to obey. Yeah. It, it makes it different. But the cool thing, the thing that I'm most excited about is we're going to figure out, or we're going to talk about these Fears that we have that cause us to have hasty faith, and we're gonna flip it. Nice, right? Yeah, we're gonna flip it. Cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in, and I hope that we will see you either online or in person for our FOMO Faith. Stay tuned for more of these series. Again, drop anything in the comments, like, subscribe, let us know uh, what you want to hear next. And as always, God is good. We will see you guys next time. Peace. He's a